Mr. Clown here from Clown Maths. Today we're going to be looking at solving quadratic equations, either by factorising, already factorised, or even using the quadratic formula. Let's get straight into it with a simple example. Solve 4x squared plus 6x equals 0. So in this one, we look to see if there's a common factor first. We'll always do that. And there is a common factor. The common factor, of course, is 2x. So we can take 2x outside the bracket, and we've got 2x plus 3 inside the bracket. If you need help with factorising, look at the previous video on factorising. So then that means we've got 2x equals 0, and we've also got 2x plus 3 equals 0. So taking the first equation, x must be 0. And the second equation, where I take the 3 over to the other side to get minus 3, then divide by the number in front of x, which is 2. So we can leave it as a fraction, minus 3 over 2, or if you prefer, minus 1.5. Okay, our second example, solve 2x add 1, x minus 2 equals 0. Notice, this is already factorised, so we don't have to do the factorising, we just need to split it into two separate equations. 2x add 1 equals 0, and also x minus 2 equals 0. Solve the first one, so we've got 2x is minus 1, and therefore x is negative a half, or minus 1 over 2. And the second one, x is equal to 2. And that's us done. Already factorised, done. It might also say, remember, find the roots of this. Same thing. Finding the roots is where it cuts the x-axis. It's the same as solving a quadratic equation. So the third example I've got for you is x squared plus x minus 30 equals 0. No common factor, but it can be factorised. You'll know you're using factorisation if this turns up in the non-calculator paper. And it doesn't ask you to leave your answer to one decimal place or as a root. If it just says solve it, you're factorising. Give it a go. So, sum is 1 and the product is negative 30. So we're looking for numbers at times to get to make 30. So we can have 1 and 30, but that doesn't make 1. 2 and 15, but that doesn't make 1. 3 and 10, but again, that doesn't make 1. Eventually we get to 5 and 6, so you might have got there quicker. And if you take 5 and 6 to get... 1 as a sum, we need to do plus 6, take away 5. So that's what goes inside our brackets. And we'll just check, we've got 6 and 5 in both of them, so we're fine. So our bracket is x add 6, x take away 5 equals 0, and then we just solve it in the same way as the last question. x plus 6 equals 0, or x minus 5 equals 0. So x equals negative 6, and x equals 5. That's the last one I'm going to do on factorising. We could obviously ask you one where there's a number in front of x squared, and if you need to check how to factorise with numbers in front of x squared, go back to the factorising video, and it's the same procedure, factorise then solve. So we've got 3x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. And I know this is a quadratic formula question, you'll know because it will say leave your answer to so many decimal places, or it's the calculator paper. So here's our quadratic formula, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4ac, all over 2a, where a equals 3, a number in front of x squared, b is negative 1, and c is obviously negative 2. So we just jump straight in by substituting into the formula. So that gives us, being very careful, minus, minus 1, plus or minus the square root of minus 1 squared, minus 4, times 3, times minus 2, all over 2 times 3. Now, have a look at that, make sure you're happy with that. I'm going to immediately give you the under the square root answer. You can do it all at one go in a calculator. Just use brackets. Minus 1 squared minus bracket 4 times 3 times minus 2. Close bracket. And it will give you the answer. It is 25. Minus 1 squared is 1. 4 times 3 times 2 is 24, and since it's a minus times a minus, you get a plus, so it's 1 plus 24, 25. We now need to split that up into two answers, that's what the plus and minus is for. So we've got 1 plus the square root of 25 over 6, and 1 minus the square root of 25 over 6. So that's 1 plus 5 over 6, or 1 minus 5 over 6. Clearly, the first one is 6 over 6, which just gives us 1, and the second one is 
minus four of a six, which you can simplify to minus two thirds. Or if you're using your calculator and don't like a fraction, just do the top number divided by the bottom number. You'll get minus 0 0.666. So just write minus 0 0.67 to two decimal places or minus 0 0.7 to one decimal place. The hardest types of questions are these questions where you have to construct your own equation and somehow then use that equation to solve it. Often this will appear at the end of a paper, usually the calculator paper. Don't be worried if you can't do the first part of the question. Often they'll give you the equation you're going to have to use for the last part of the question that will be worth a number of marks. So if you can't do the first couple of parts, which I'm going to explain, skip it and just do the last bit where you have to solve the equation. Right, let's move straight into what this is asking us. A rectangular picture measuring 9 by 13 is placed on a rectangular piece of card. And it tells us the area of the card is 270 and there's a border of X all the way around. Part A is write down an expression for the length of the card in terms of X. Part B is hence show that a quadratic equation is formed. And part C is calculate X the width of the border, giving your answer to one decimal place. In other words, use the equation in part two and solve it. Let's do part A first. Here is our picture. Now, we're wanting the length, which is straight up the way. So if we're just looking at it going up the way, so we go up a little X, then we go up 13, and then we go up another little X again. So our length is just X plus 13 plus X. Simplifying that, it gives us 2X add 13. Quite a standard question. Let's look at part two then, hence solve. What does that mean? Then show that 4x squared add 44x minus 153 equals 0. But if we look back at the question, it tells us that the area of the card is 270 square centimetres. Area. So maybe if I do the area of the card as an algebra thing, it will give me that. And that's what you should be thinking. It's talking about area. Let's write down what area is. So we know our length is 2x add 3. Let's check our breadth then. It's going to be x plus 9 plus another x, so 2x add 9. If you can get that far and you can get the 2x add 9, you're almost done. Areas length times breadth, which is equal to 270. Well, length times breadth, that's just going to be 2x add 13 times 2x add 9. Let's just expand the bracket then. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. You get 2 times 9 is 18x. 13 times 2 is 26x. Plus 117 from 9 times 13. I use a calculator for that one. And that equals 270. We're almost there. Look, we've got 4x squared, 4x squared. Add the x's, you get 44x. So all I need to do is take the 270 over to the left and hopefully that'll be what minus 153. And it is. So I've done it. But again, don't worry if you can't do that. If you need a little help with expanding brackets, go back to the previous video. But if you can't get that far, don't lose hope. You can still do the last part of the question because it's just solve a quadratic with a quadratic formula. The last part of the question is calculate the width of the border x. But x is in our equation. So there's our quadratic formula. Just use that. We've got minus 44 plus or minus the square root of 44 squared, minus 4 times 4 times minus 153, all over 2 times 4. Notice we get minus times a minus again. Quite often you'll get that to give that positive number that comes out. If you ever get a negative answer under your square root, you have made a mistake. Go back and check. So let's work out my under square root sign. Using a calculator, of course, we get minus 44 plus or minus the square root of 4384. Big number, doesn't matter, we're using a calculator. Over 8, 2 times 4 is 8. Split that up into 2. Minus 44 plus root 4384 over 8. And minus 44 minus root 4384 over 8. So let's work out our answers. We get, if you do that in a calculator, 2.776. Let's round that to 2.8. And for the right hand side, you would get minus 13.776. Now, usually when you're solving a quadratic, you would write down both of the answers and you'll be done. But this is a real world question. This is asking you about the length of something. Have you ever seen a negative length? I haven't. So if this ever happens, you get a real world question which asks you about a length, an area, a volume, anything to do with the real world, you cannot have a negative answer. So you scroll it out. Our answer is just 2.8. And we're done. This has been Claire Mass today. We've reviewed solving quadratic equations for the National 5 2022 exams. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.